Well, I made some, some decent progress today, I guess. I got the firewall put on there, but it's you know quite a gap, so we're trying to figure out what we're going to do about that. Um, and we ran, ran across another one. So here's the surface where the prop is going to sit, well, at, with the hub. And um, it's set back a little too far. I'm certain that that's where it's supposed to be. So I just need to find out how much of a, a spacer we need. So I don't know what the distance between the prop and the cowling is supposed to be. So I've got some research to do there. Um, give me something to do over the next couple of weeks. And my cousin is going to work on the rudder pedals. Mm -hmm. Put out, you know, templates for what the um, what the bracing is supposed to be. And I've even labeled each one. So when I get back in a couple weeks, hopefully that will be taken care of. Uh, let's see. I've got the new Matco tailwheel put on. By put on, I mean it's... <laughs> I took the old one off, put this one on, and the blue tape, no, it's not just taped on. That's my reminder for me and my A&P that we need to look at a couple things on it. Um, but anyway, so I like, the stance is a lot better with that on there. And I got the turtle deck put back on and found these, this uh, spacer, or I'm not I'm really sure what to call it. I had lost these and I just happened to cross them. So they, they fill in the gap nicely. Um, so that means when I run the air conditioner, you know, all the cold air stays inside. That's how that works, right? Let's see, last time I was here, got the arrow LEDs all wired up, and they work, and they work beautifully. Got the magnetometer lead out here. Um, we will get to that. Everything's labeled nicely. Got the bundles for my tip lights, which I'm not going to put in for a while, but they're pre pre-run. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to keep I mean, tip lights, my tip landing lights. In the meantime, I'm going to stick with these um, just because they work and I own them. I don't own the um, the arrow signs yet. No. Inside, I got the rudder pedals pulled out as I showed you. Um, dash is, is nice. I love turning this thing on when I have the power hooked up. But I've discovered, uh, I made a fundamental mistake with this. All my labels are underneath. They need to be on top because when I'm sitting in here, I can't see those darn labels because there's a big old switch in the way. Boy, someone was thinking. Um, but I did lay my switches out so that they'll make sense to me. So I'll just remember. For example, uh, obviously in flight, leave these alone. Um, just to the left of the safety bars, fuel pump. And I've got a light for the when fuel pump is on. Cabin heat is over here, just because it's kind of a weird one. I just kind of left it out in no man's land. Autopilot disconnect. You can press it all day and it won't do a thing. Um, and from the left over, I've got landing lights, whether they be um, that's in flight, so it'll be wigwag. That's land because it's down and that's off. I wanted a on, on, off switch and I couldn't find one. So it's an on, off, on. So it's why it's off is in the middle. I hate that. Now, it's, if I can find a replacement, I'll, I'll replace it. And then <clears throat> nav, strobe, interior lights. And interior lights does not include the panel. That's all here. The interior lights is a little light red light I've got right there. It does a nice job. Um, well, and obviously the master. Anyway, um, the avionics fan that I put in last time I was here um, spent way too long putting his fan in and then went to power it on and nothing happened. And kind of made me mad to the point I just walked away from it <laughs> two weeks ago. And today I pulled the fan back out. Well, I had ripped the ground wire off of the actual circuit board on the fan. So, 
I'll get, take that back and get it fixed. So anyways, that's my update. Um, the Red River Fox is slowly coming back to life. Um, ridiculously excited to get this thing back in the air. Anyway, till next time, see ya.